Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Because you gotta subscribe twice. Who would have thought? Anyway, now enjoy the video. What is up, everyone? Welcome back for more Let's Play Destroy All Humans. In the last episode, we've, abduct we've abducted Miss Rockwell and destroyed the fair because why not? And this time, we're going to be returning to Rockwell and become a citizen because I don't know. Anyway, we're going to be going to Pox's lab since there's an upgrade available for us. You know what they say about a furon with a really big cranium. Gain one additional target to the Zappomatic. Well, that is going to be some great upgrade right there. Not only that, but we're going to be able to pick up vehicles. That is going to be a useful upgrade later on. So what would you like? That's all we can get. Also, starting after this mission, I'm going to start um, farming DNA off screen. Just give you a heads up because I don't think you want to see me farm DNA for two hours straight and then get to the next mission. So, back to Rockwell. Citizen Crypto! Nearby bovoids are emitting unusual levels of radiation. Stop wasting time and investigate them immediately. <laughs> this is where we're going to start getting special caveat star mission. Now I want to show this right here. Mission goals. Constraints. That is what we have to avoid at all costs. Meaning, if we get the um, constraint, we will fail the mission and not have to start again. Which in this case, we have, to, we have to not have the alert level go up to police. Which is that badge with the P in it. It's going to scan some cows. Brains? Healthy green glow? Those human fools! Clearly they've genetically altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! <clears throat> now we get what that paper meant when it mentioned cow abuse allegations. Yeah, these radioactive cows are essentially bombs! To an extent. Okay. How did that work? Per se. Essentially bombs. To an extent. Okay, I have not seen that before. <laughs> Mayor calls town meeting. Plans to finally explain what's going on. About dang time, Mayor. We want some guys darn answers. Where did he come from? Never mind that. You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. And you have to do this under the hollow bob, because oh boy, of course. Do I love my new Edsel. 
It's a classic in the making. All right, now we've got to head back to Town Hall to read his story last time. And uniform. they work incredibly fast. We destroyed that last episode, and it's up again. Yeah, any kind of wreck does not remain. It will basically be as if you never destroyed it in the first place. But damn, they work fast. Also, there is something I actually like doing here. Watch this. Crypto! What? You destructive fool! Our plans are ruined! Return to the mothership! Curse you, pathetic humans! <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, Pox was a ventriloquist. He was talking without his mouth moving. And why are you talking about Pox? I can take his disguise even with him dead. And then again, they would have noticed it eventually, so yeah, that can't make sense. Yeah, I just wanted to show that. If you actually take out the mayor and not... You want a piece of me? <clears throat> um... Actually take the disguise that you're supposed to. You are guaranteed to get that 100 DNA. Each and every time. It's not the best grind in the world. But you do have the option there if you want to take it. If you don't mind failing this mission again and again and again until you have the desired amount of DNA. There are going to be other instances like this where our government officials will give you 100 DNA. And I'll spotlight that when they come up. Now, let's... Actually, do the DNA proper. This I'll cut ahead and get up to the mayor. Bill of Rights. Who the hell needs a Bill of Rights? I'm Bill, and I'm right. Screw you, officer. Aye. All right. To do this properly, we need to target the mayor. Yeah, baby. And take on the hollow bulb disguise. Without killing him. One of the dang cows, then it'll look like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing's trap trap. And after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her. Crops laid out flat circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings. No new shoes for the twins. And I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now I'm entitled to a goddamn answer. If there ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? what you say to that, Mr. Stopper? And as long as normal. Let's. I have not. I've not done this perfectly once, so I. Well, go and um, pretend we're going all. Well, that's just a uh, healthy inner glow that comes from chewing a, a cud of fresh green Rockwell grass. Why, I uh, chew it myself all the time. Got some in my craw right now. Better than snuff. Oh, that was a good answer. Okay. Let's blame communism. I don't know what's been going on around here. <clears throat> I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. To be fair, he does have a point. Um. Let's tell him. I get the flying saucer freaks, but seriously, they have a lot of local color to the community, don't they? I mean, without them, we'd have nobody to ostracize but the inbreeders. Bada bing! Is this thing on? <laughs> I'm gonna surprise they, um... Did an incest joke there. So, uh, 
the next time you see a strange light moving and changing direction at incredible speed in the night sky, you would just think to yourself, no commie's going to distract me from my patriotic duty with a couple of bottle rockets. No, sir. Now, wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Let's blame it on bad luck. read the papers. That at Cluster Point was a tragic confluence of the summer lightning and the tense slathered in creosote. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modest <clears throat> has been seeing anything like this? Wait, there's even an option to blame the cows? Santa Modesta is experiencing exactly the same problems we are. The difference is, we have that award-winning city desk over at the Rockwell Gazette, and nothing gets past those guys. They keep me honest. I guess some things never change. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto. Did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Mayor declares town safe. Exploding cows under control. Declare a sound official. <laughs> Deliberately ignoring the scientists involved. Like a typical politician only telling half-truths. And falsehoods. Hey. That perfectly describes Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Yeah. I'm not... Going back on that one. That is... Uh, If you'd like me to do a video on her specifically, and I'd be happy to, let me know down in the, down in the comments. Yeti! But, with that, we are done here for now. Next time on Let's Play Destroy Humans, it's where we're heading to Santa Modesta. See you guys then. But wait, hold on a moment. We're actually not done yet. There's actually another way that mission can go. What happens if you fail the speech given to you under the hull of disguise as the mayor? Error one of the dang cows, then it'll look like it stuck some sort of device up the poor things. Clap, trap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her. Crops laid out flat in circles like a 4th of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a god darn answer. If they ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, Mr. Snuffer? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> What's going on around here? I could tell you, but then I'd have to vaporize you. <laughs> oh. 
I got to tell you, I've seen some disgusting creatures in my time, but you monkeys take the cake. In fact, calling you monkeys is an insult to monkeys. How you ever became the dominant species on this planet is a total freaking mystery. That ain't the mayor. It's an alien from outer space. Well, he does look a little bit like Michael Rennie. <laughs>